Hello and welcome to a demonstration of advanced fields of applications for SpeedTech. We often get requests if SpeedTech can also measure at very low speed and what accuracy can be achieved. In this video, I will demonstrate you that SpeedTech can measure almost down to zero meters per second while achieving a high accuracy and repeatability. We will demonstrate to you how the SpeedTech diagnostic screen can be used in your application to get more confidence about the sensor behavior under these application conditions. The measurement accuracy of 0.1% in a data sheet relates to the speed of 0.2 meters per second. At speeds below 0.2 meters per second, the best possible accuracy can be lower. This behavior is relevant in applications where the movement is constantly below 0.2 meters per second but also in applications with frequent start-stop or acceleration or deceleration. Now, let's make some measurements. SpeedTech is mounted on the moving part of a highly accurate linear axis. The incremental counter box displays speed and length. The sensor is moved by 600 millimeters forward and backward. We do this to show that a measurement is repeatable. Please note that in this setup, we have frequent start stops, which influence the accuracy. At the beginning, we will start with the measurement at 0.1 meters per second on a cardboard. You see the X is moving and we see what the value is. So the error is about 0.3 millimeters. And on the way back, it goes back to zero. So you can see the measurement is really repeatable. And again, the failure is 0.3 millimeters, again repeatable. So the error is about, is below 0.1%. The next measurement is done at 0.05 meters per second. As you can see, the movement is significantly slower and the value again is 0.2 millimeters. On the way back, we return almost to zero. So again, the measurement is repeatable and we achieve approximately an error again of below 0.1%. Now we do the same measurement with our internal reference material. The speed is 0 0.05 meters per second and we achieve 0 0.6 millimeters offset. As you see, the sensor moves back at 0 0.05 meters per second and it ends up at 0 0.2. The error is higher than before on this material as it is more challenging, but still the error is below 0.1%. Now we challenge the sensor. We change the speed to 0.04 meters per second. You can see the sensor moves slowly over to the final position. The measurement failure is 17, 16.5 millimeters, which equals about 2.7, 2.8%. The sensor moves back and returns to zero. So as you can see, the error was larger, but the measurement results is again very repeatable. We change the material back to cardboard and measure the cardboard at a speed of 0.04 meters per second. As the sensor comes back to the target position, you can see that the failure is below 13 millimeters and is again lower than measured on the black material. The 13 millimeters relate to a failure of about 2%. As you can see now, the result is very repeatable. 
We repeat the measurement with the black material and at 0.04 meters per second. Let's have a look at the SOPAS diagnostic screen. You can see that the loss speed values are between 1 and 1.5 percent. This is higher than the allowed value to achieve an accurate measurement. So you can use the diagnostic screen to check if the measurement results will be accurate or not. So as you can see, speed tech measures very repeatable even at very low speeds. But be aware at speeds below 0.05 meters per second, the measurement accuracy can be much lower. The behavior is also material dependent. So please check the achievable accuracy in your specific application on your specific material for constant operation at low speeds. Thank you for watching.